Have you ever thought that a stunning Thanksgiving smoked ham might just be the secret to making your holiday feast unforgettable? Picture this, a beautiful smoked ham that not only has your guests drooling, but also steals the show from the usual turkey. Trust me, the rich flavor of the smoked ham can take your celebration to a whole new level. Now that you're imagining that perfect centerpiece, let's dive into how you can make it happen. The first step to creating the show-stopping Thanksgiving smoked ham is all about setting up the smoker just right. Today, I'm using the pit barrel cooker, but you can use your preferred smoker. Make sure to toss in some wood chugs. Apple or cherry wood add a light sweet smoke flavor to the ham. Let the smoker come up to the temp, probably right around 250 degrees to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. This setup will help you maintain the even low heat you need to perfectly smoke the ham. Now let's talk about choosing the perfect Thanksgiving smoked ham. Look for a high quality cut with a good layer of fat. This will keep it juicy and packed with flavor. If your ham isn't pre-spiled, don't worry. Simply score the surface in a diamond pattern. This allows the smoke and the glaze to really seep into the meat, making every bite even more delicious. Once prepped, place the ham in an aluminum pan. Add some apple juice, set it on a sturdy cooking sheet for easy handling. Apple juice will steam during the smoking process, helping to keep the ham moist. Since the ham is pre-cooked, we're focusing on warming it through without drying it out. Now that the smoker is ready, it's time to get our Thanksgiving smoked ham on there. Place the ham in its aluminum pan on the rack, close the lid, and we'll chuck it back in about an hour to see how it's coming along. And while the ham is smoking, let's make an amazing whiskey orange glaze. That will take this Thanksgiving smoked ham to the next level. Now in a saucepan, you're gonna to wanna to combine one cup of whiskey, one cup of honey, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, a half a cup of brown sugar, a third a cup of molasses, a full 18 ounce jar of orange marmalade, apricot or mango preserves will work too, and it's okay if you get one of those sugar-free options. This glaze is gonna add just a beautiful, sweet, and tangy flavor to your ham. Bring the mixture to a boil, and then let it simmer until it thickens into a nice, rich syrup. Now, after about an hour, it's time to check in on our Thanksgiving smoked ham. We're gonna be looking for an internal temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and so far, everything is looking good. So now it's time for the first coat of glaze. Pour that rich, whiskey glaze right over the ham, and make sure to get into the scored sections. Then you're gonna to wanna to close the lid, and then give it about another 30 minutes to an hour before the final check-in. Then. After about an hour, carefully remove the ham from the aluminum pan and place it directly onto the grill grate to get that caramelized, sticky glaze finish. Then brush on one more coat of glaze and let it smoke for about another 30 minutes. Depending on the size of your ham, the total cooking time will be about two to three hours, but make sure to keep an eye on that internal temperature. We're aiming for about 155 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you hit your internal temperature, remove the ham from the smoker and let it rest for 15 minutes before slicing. As you slice into this Thanksgiving smoked ham, you'll be greeted by a tantalizing aroma filled with hints of citrus from that orange marmalade, a sweetness from that apple juice and apple wood, and finally, you'll get a waft of that whiskey. Beautiful glaze glistens in the light, and it makes this smoked ham even more enticing. Be sure to slice the ham thinly and drizzle some of those juices right on top. This Thanksgiving smoked ham pairs perfectly with roasted veggies or a sweet potato casserole and the leftovers make incredible sandwiches. Thanks for watching. If you like this recipe, make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what glazes you love using for smoked ham. Also, check out the video linked at the end where I show you what to do with all those fat trimmings. I'll see you there.